Here's a view of our two wagons, the 2000 E320 Mercedes wagon, reliable, old, trustworthy, 266,000 miles. And then here's the new one that has, new to us, 2018 Buick Regal Tour X wagon, has 63,000 on it. Got it as a one owner trade-in from a Birmingham Jaguar, as the license plate frame says. Buick Regal Tour X. These are kind of rare in the USA because <clears throat> they're only um, they only brought in like I don't know 50 or 60, 70 thousand or something like some small number over a three year period from 2018, 19, and 20. And this is sold overseas as the, um, the Holden Commodore in the Australian New Zealand market and the uh, Vauxhall Insignia in the UK, you know, England, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, that, Europe. So this one has a two liter turbo four cylinder and believe it or not, it puts out lots of power. It's a very powerful engine, uh, has as much or more power than the V6 and the Mercedes, but they're both very good wagons, um, real similar in configuration, interior rim. We're told they patterned uh, this one off the new uh, E-Class wagon. It kind of makes sense. It actually kind of looks like it a little bit. But this one has um, all-wheel drive, whereas my older wagon is just two-wheel drive. So this is a gift from my mom, and I'm um, praising the Lord for it. Hope it's a good car. It should be great. It already runs and drives great. Bought it a year ago, August. And they go for a pretty good price, but they're not bad. This was 20 Four thousand, and then they knocked a thousand off and made it twenty-three. Um, so that's a uh, pretty good value, I think, for what you're getting. Because a new Toyota Corolla was going to cost that much when um, back in a year ago, in summer of twenty twenty-two, cars were kind of high-priced due to the COVID C shortage. So there you have it. Let me get a full frontal view here. Drives pretty nice, doesn't it, Connor? You like how it drives? Cool. The tale of two station wagons. Thanks for watching. Bye.